Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Infernoble Knight Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post the January 2024 ban list. Big thanks to my buddy Anthony for letting me borrow his Infernoble Knight for the video. The big change out of the deck is that his sold is now banned. It was a Link 2 Warrior Monster that just helped with the initial setup of the deck, definitely making it a lot slower. But I wanted to give you my take on the pure Infernoble Knight deck. There are some variants that I can see being built with the Flame Swordsman support we have coming out this week in the Maze of Millennia booster set. So if you'd like to see a version of the deck with that support, definitely do let me know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. We're running two copies of Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed. You can banish one equip spell from your field or graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. At the start of damage step, if this card attacks, you can equip one face a monster on the field of this card, maximum one, as an equip spell. That gives this card 500 attack and when a monster effect is activated quick effect you can send one face up quick card you control of the graveyard to negate the activation and destroy it you can only use each effect of gear freed once per turn but having the easy special summon by just using what we run a good majority of in the deck being the equip spells but also having the equip option with this card to then also give you an additional face up equip card uh, you know effect negation for a monster can stop a good amount of cards that your opponent may have we also run three copies of infernal knight renaud along with the equip power a main focus focus of the deck is also just the synchro power and the link summon power of the deck. So using Renaud, if you control a fire warrior monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, you can treat it as a tuner. You can only special summon Renaud once per turn this way. And if this card is special summon, you can target one of your fire warrior monsters or one of your equip spells that is banished or in your graveyard, except for Renaud, and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect for once per turn, but you use a good number of destruction effects as well, like the search destruction with Durandal. So then you can just add that card back with Renaud, but the special summon power and then the option to make this card a tuner can help to set up a good number of many different synchros you may want to do in the deck as well. We also run two copies of Infernoble Knight Rikar, or Richard Detto. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard. Just special summon one level four lower fire warrior monster from your hand as a tuner. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one level four lower fire warrior monster in your graveyard except for Rikar Detto and special summon it. You can also not special summon for the rest of the turn except for warriors, which isn't really a, you know, a lockdown in this deck. But you're going to use one Richard Detto effect per turn and only once per turn. So then you have the setup of our many different monsters to be used as tuners as well. So depending on what monster you may want to summon out, that card can be treated as a tuner or a non-tuner to use for our synchro play. One of those monsters being our Infer Noble Knight Ogier. While this card is an equipped card, the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by card effects, giving that additional boost to cards like Gear Freed. You can only use each of the flying effects of Ogier once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one Noble Arms card or one Fire Warrior monster except for Ogier from your deck to the graveyard. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Warrior monster you control and equip this card to that monster you control, giving you more equip power. If you use the Gear Freed effect, then you can just use Ogier to re-equip itself onto Gear Freed also. Also, the one copy of Infernal Knight Turpin with this card. While it's an equip, the monster can be treated as a tuner. And also with this card, if you control a monster equipped with an equip card, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. But if you summon it from the graveyard, banish it when it leaves you the field, giving you an easy level four setup as well as the one Infernoble Knight Mogus. When it's an equip card, the monster cannot be destroyed by battle. And then also you can shuffle up to three of your Fire Warrior monsters and or Noble Arm cards that are banished or in your graveyard to draw one card after they're shuffled back into the deck. So more of a recycle power with this card. The one copy of Olivier. While it's an equipped card, the monster cannot be targeted with card effects. And then you can send one Fire Warrior monster or one equip spell from your hand or face on the field of the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand as a level one monster, giving you more level adjustment, as I mentioned, with the last card being Infernal Will Knight Roland. You can target a face on monster you control. Equip this card from your hand to that target as an equip spell. That gives this card 500 attack. And during the end phase, if it's in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add one Fire Warrior monster, except for Roland or one equip spell from your deck to your hand, giving you some search power, but you really just need the one ofs for these cards. I know the deck was kind of limited with the Assault setup, giving you special summon access to a good majority of these cards, but still a pretty nice setup to use with some of the other search power that we have also. And then also one copy of Super Quantum Red Layer and the one Fire Flint Lady. More warrior options, but more special summon power as well. I even considered increasing the number of Super Quantum Red Layer if you wanted to do so. I have the three Ash Blossom and the two Drone Lockbird for hand trap lineup in the deck. You could always take out the two Drone Lockbird to increase the numbers of both the Fire Flint Lady and the Quantum Red Layer to two of each. I feel like you could use those numbers more since we're not relying on a Link 2 special summon and set up with our Assault anymore, sadly, in the deck. 
moving on now to the spells. We're running three copies of Noble Arms Museum. All fire warrior monsters you control gain 500 attack. Once per turn, you can pay 1,200 life to add one Noble Arms card from your deck to your hand, except for Noble Arms Museum. And once per turn, if the previous effect was applied this turn, you can target one Noble Knight monster card in your spell and trap card zone and special summon it. Also, if you activated this effect while you did not control an Infernal Noble Knight Emperor Charles, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except for warrior monsters. Once again, not a big, big lockdown for the deck, but still being able to have search power for some of our equip spells to then give us search into our other warrior monsters is just an added bonus. One of those equip spells being probably one of the better ones, which is our Infernoble Arms Durandal. With this card and its setup, while it's equipped to a monster, you can add one level fire or lower fire warrior monster from your deck to your hand, then destroy this card. And if it's sent to the graveyard because the equip monster is sent to the graveyard, you can target a level five or lower warrior monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So whether you use it for its own effect or just sending another warrior to get the special summon from that graveyard, can just continue your special summons onto the field to begin with for all your Infernoble Knight monsters. Also, for some of the other equip spells, the one copy of Infernoble Arms Joyeuse, and the one copy of Different Dimension Reincarnation, and the one Phoenix Blade. This just gives us more equip power. I know we don't have the Assault anymore, but sadly, we have to rely on more equip power, along with cards like Durandal, just to give our other monsters in the field an additional boost. And the add back power of Phoenix Blade comes down to just if you open up the equip spells to use as well. If you wanted to run some other Infernoble cards, you could always take out these two cards for Infernoble Arms Solace, so you have more search power for those particular cards with Noble Arms Museum. And then also for the rest of the spells, one copy of Monster Reborn, one copy of Reinforcements of the Army, and the one Call by the Grave for some of our specific one of staples, along with three copies of Triple Tactics Talent. This card is just very, very useful because this deck is definitely a target for hand trap power. So at least you have draw power or the means to take away some of your resources from your opponent if they do try to hand trap any of your Infernal card search or special summon cards with the last of the spells being two copies of dark ruler no more once again this could be another spot to replace for infer noble arms solace if you wish to have another equip spell to search out with noble arms museum with the last of the main deck cards just being three copies of infinite and permanence along with the ash blossom and the drone lockbird just the hand trap of choice to run in the lineup for our special summon and hand trap effect negations of our opponents and then moving on now to the extra deck for our Link Monsters, we're running two copies of Emperor Charles the Great. One level nine Infernable Knight Emperor Charles equipped with an equip card is usually used to make this card. So then you have your Emperor Charles play. We run the two because you can recycle Emperor Charles with our Renaud in the main deck for the shuffle back power of Mogus for its play to recycle our synchros. If it's Link Summon, you can target an Infernable Knight Emperor Charles in your graveyard and this card's name becomes that target's original name and it gains the original effects then equip that target to this card as an equip spell and give it 500 attack and once per turn when a spell or trap is activated quick effect you can send one equip spell from your hand or face on the field of the graveyard to negate the activation and destroy that card so power up to this card gain the additional power of charles as well on top of that with some of our other link monsters being one ferocious flame swordsman just another warrior link to warrior power boost monster giving all your warrior monsters 500 attack one hita the fire charmer ablaze one barricade board blocker and one sp little knight for our other link two monsters that we run in the deck and for our last link monster the one copy of apollosa bow the goddess for more monster effect negation which is all the monster swarm that we can do in the deck and for the synchros two copies of angelica princess of noble arms if it's special summon you can add one horn of oliphant or one card that mentions infernoble knight emperor charles from your deck to your hand and when a card or effect is activated that targets this card in the field or when an effect that targets it for an attack quick effect you can send one fire warrior monster from your deck to the graveyard to banish this card until the end phase and then you can special summon one Roland monster from your deck or extra deck, giving you more summon power for the different Roland cards, including our Synchro monster, which is Infernal Knight Captain Roland, or the one from the main deck being another one of our Synchro monsters to summon out. And the same with Emperor Charles and our Baron de Fleur for more Synchro plays and needing the Charles as well for the setup of our Link 1 Emperor Charles the Great. For our Xyz monsters, one copy of Battling Boxer King Dempsey and the one Divine Arsenal Sky Thunder Zeus to use as just exceeds options in the deck as well, giving you more of the special summon play and search power for our use with King Dempsey. 
And then the setup, as I said before, is pretty weakened with no assault. So you have to rely a lot on just the warrior setup that you may be given for your opening cards in your hand. Using those special summon plays, you want to go more for the synchro focus in the deck than the actual play for your Link 2 monster. So using that, you can have at least a tuner monster in the form of Renaud, and then when summoning out Turpin, or another level 4 to then summon out either your Noble Arms, Princess Angelica, or your Roland onto the field, and then being able to have more of the equip spell search with those cards that you may have set up as well on the field. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, just a quick look at the Infernal Will Arms deck with Isold now out of the picture since the January 2024 ban list. But I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.